In this video, I'm going over five research papers that you've got to read if you want to succeed in AI. I've read over a hundred papers, created dozens of videos breaking down top papers, and my portfolio of projects has gotten me into Amazon and Google. Without further ado, let's get into paper number one. You've probably heard about scaling laws in AI. Bigger models, more data, more compute. But what if you could build a smarter model instead of just a bigger one? That's where this mixture of experts paper comes in. Stay with me. One of my students was interviewing for an AI engineer role at Amazon. The interviewer hit him with a curveball. Have you read any research on scaling models efficiently? Most students would blank, but my student had studied this paper with my guidance. After he explained the paper, the interviewer literally said, That's amazing. Nobody I've interviewed today has talked about that. My student got the offer, and this is what I call the expert effect. When you casually bring up a research idea in an interview, and and suddenly seem like the smartest person in the room. But here's the twist. While this paper is all about scaling, one of the later papers in this video is about shrinking models down. Stick with me. Today's video is sponsored by me. I've created dozens of videos explaining the top papers in an easy to understand way so that people at both the beginner and advanced level can understand them. Again, whether you're a beginner or more advanced, you've gotta read and understand papers. Head to the link in the description to learn more, and now let's move on to paper number two. Back in the day, everyone thought convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, were unbeatable. Then, Google dropped the vision transformer and everything changed. One of my students built a project where he re-implemented a vision transformer from scratch. He didn't even have to train it on any massive datasets, he just fine-tuned it on some medical images, and that project alone got in interviews at top startups. That's what I call the transformer effect. Having a project so iconic that just the name of the paper gives you instant credibility. Now, let me tell you something that most creators will never tell you. Some of the highest paying jobs today, they're not in vision and they're not even in LLMs. They're in reinforcement learning. And that's where paper number three comes in. If you've used ChatGPT, then you've got to understand PPO or proximal policy optimization. I know it's a mouthful, but stay with me. This is the foundation for our LHF, which stands for Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback. Put simply, this is how we get ChatGPT to behave and respond to us the way we want. One of my students had an interview at a self-driving startup. They asked him, What reinforcement learning methods are you familiar with? He decided to explain PPO, absolutely crushed it, and you can guess what happened next. He later told me, Duh, they didn't even ask me to code after that. They were so impressed. Now, the next paper on our list flips the script again. Instead of making models bigger, it's about shrinking them down. Imagine you train a giant overpowered model. Great accuracy, but impossible to deploy. What do you do? You distill it into a smaller model that runs just as well. This is the main idea of model distillation. One of my students built a project where he distilled a classifier for customer support tickets. That project didn't just get him interviews, it got him an offer at a Fortune 500 company. But here's the cash. What if the problem you're solving doesn't look like text or image? Images. What if it's a graph like social networks, molecules, or recommendation systems? That's where the final paper on our list comes in. Now, graphs are everywhere. Think of followers on LinkedIn or Instagram. But traditional neural networks struggle with graphs, and that's why graph attention networks, or GATs, are a game changer. One of my students re-implemented this paper for a recommendation system project. That project alone got him into AMD as an AI engineer. This is a key gap. Most Students never touch graph papers, so the few who do automatically look like geniuses. Now, don't stop here because I have two more resources for you. The first is my personal program. Whether you're a beginner or more advanced, I'll walk you through top research papers, how to build your portfolio, and land your dream job. The second resource is another YouTube video. This video breaks down how I got into Amazon and Google without grinding hundreds of leak code questions or awkwardly begging anyone for a referral. It's the perfect companion video to this one. Go watch that video right now and I'll see you there.